Hello, Vessi and IPC. Awesome to have you. Thanks for being here. <laughs> I'm so excited that I met you, that I got to invite you onto my show. We're going to talk about this, this really innovative, I think, and quite beautiful um, initiative that you started with, through, through sharing art. Through, and we're going to talk about the Funky Eye Puppets. But before we do, a little bit about the series. We are here with Michelle's Conversations That Matter. Um, my goal with this series is to really elevate the conversation around well-being and mental health. And I think that part of that is inclusion and diversity and celebration of individuality. And so um, I'm really excited to, to have you. What I do professionally is I work with organizations to recenter employees and help them feel good so they stay engaged and healthy and preserve their mental health. So uh, we are gonna dive into this topic, but uh, and we're gonna introduce both of you individually. But first, I want IPC to share his wonderful introduction video of who are the Funky Eye Puppets and the backstory. So without further ado, um, you can go right ahead and share that IPC. Welcome, welcome. I'm the artist known as I Paint Creatures, also known as IPC. I'm an award-winning performance poet, a storyteller, a painter, a filmmaker, an animator, and a self-proclaimed creatureologist and yokaiologist. And I'm here today to present to you how I use Cartoon Animator 4 in my process to bring alive my Japanese folklore creatures. I work in a long lineage of storytellers and poets from my Japanese heritage. They were called Shigin poets. They were chanters and storytellers of the Royal Court of Japan. And my grandma, she specialized in telling yokai stories, orally telling them. And yokai are basically Japanese folklore creatures. And yokai, roughly translated in English, means strange spirit. And so what I'm showing you here today is I'm an artist that works in every visual art medium from graphite to ink to watercolor to acrylics to oils all the way into the digital medium. And I'm a storyteller, so most of my creatures are all employed to tell you a story. So I'm working on this epic story that's based in sci-fi and fantasy and the manga world, and it's called Matsu. And it features all these yokai creatures in this fantastical, magical land. And so right here, I'm doing uh, one of the background landscapes, and I'm doing it in ink and acrylics and watercolor. And I basically bring it in the computer, and I refine it. And that's when Cartoon Animator 4 steps in. And I can bring it in and add parallax and make it a real live background, just like Disney used to do in the day with that fancy parallax camera. And now I'm I'm showing you how I traditionally draw and paint all my yokai creatures. I just do it from my imagination. I, I hardly use any reference. And I'm showing you how I use watercolor. And when I'm coming up with these creatures, I'm real intuitive and creative how I do them. And so I already see them animated in my head. And so I'm already starting to tell the stories and see their personalities. And what real illusion cartoon animator for is it does that. Right there. It brings Lance Turnip. He's a Chochin Obake yokai. He's a classic yokai. He's a Latin that after a hundred years became a living strange spirit yokai. And then there's Fuji, the Roko Kurokubi girl. And she's a classic yokai. And then there's one of my favorite yokai I created. And I just drew it. You saw earlier in the video how I was just sketching him on the paper. And that's Broella. And he's also a Tutsugami yokai, an umbrella that that came alive after a hundred years. And then right there is Woro. And Woro is a Yamo Woro yokai. He's a mountain goblin. 
And uh, here I'm showing how Real Illusion allows me to just, you know, do the watercolor, bring it in, refine it, then just uh, rig it all up, put it right here, and then use that mo motion cap and the creature come alive and I get to see it exactly in one day I can do this, where, you know, all the animation industry, it always started with the sketch and it took a long time, the story development, character development, blah, 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 on and on. But I'm here to tell you, Cartoon Animator 4 is such a valuable tool and instrument in my artillery. And go out and check it out. It is just phenomenal. Peace, I paint creatures. Amazing. Amazing. So awesome, IPC. So great to have you. Vessi, so great to have you. Thanks for sharing that video. Vessi, um, introduce yourself and then we'll ask IPC, tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, where you live, what you do for a living. Hi, Michelle. Hi, IPC. Super happy to be here. Conversations that matter. I'm all about that. I'm a singer songwriter from Chicago, the mother of four and a producer and arranger and the musical director of the Funky Eye Puppets, which, uh, we're a whole big team of musician makers. So that's pretty much me in a nutshell. Uh, awesome. I could answer more. <laughs> Let's get IPC. Okay. IPC, tell us a little bit about you. Who are you? Where do you live? What do you do? I'm from uh, Northern California, specifically Chico at the base, base of the Sierra Nevada Mountains. And I'm a um, professional 21st century storyteller that works in all kinds of mediums from film to puppetry to audio theater and I'm a fantastical illustrator and painter, and I spend most of my time uh, as an art educator, and I make my li full living from being an artist and a storyteller. Amazing. You are absolutely beyond talented. Just watching that video and seeing the art that you've created, even just behind you, is just so inspiring, and I'm an artist, so I personally appreciate that more than you know. So when I first met you, Vessi, you said to me, the Funky Eye Puppets are the next Muppets. And I got super excited because I could relate to that. I grew up with Jim Henson's Muppets. It was just part of like my childhood. So tell us a little bit, either one of you, tell us a little bit about that vision of like where you want to see this go and, and the idea behind it. And even a little bit about Matsu, because I know we mentioned that a little bit, um, I think in the clip. So tell us a little bit about that. Matsu that. is a, a basically a story that... Um, um, as a 21st century storyteller, I really believe that uh, you are gifted uh, stories to tell. And uh, I've worked pretty much my whole life in the entertainment industry. I had the grand opportunity to work uh, personally uh, day by day with uh, the creator of Star Wars and Indiana Jones, Mr. George Lucas. And I learned real uh, well then that uh, basically, you know, stories uh, play you like an instrument, like a musical instrument. And uh um, this strange tale arrived to me. Uh, it, it begins in a kind of autobiography uh, format, biographical format that, uh, um, you know, mirrors kind of my, my childhood growing up of where I uh, lost my father early. And then um, the next year after that, I was diagnosed with a huge tumor on my left arm and they wanted to uh, basically... Uh, amputate my left arm and they wanted they told me that i wouldn't live past maybe three or four years and i'm alive and well and blessed to be alive today and so that's where the story of matsu comes from and it's uh, based in sci-fi and fantasy in a manga world and at lucasfilm i became a specialist in uh, character concept character and creature development and so um I couldn't go back there because they basically told me that I'm a storyteller. And so I've been on this path for probably the last 10 years. I made my living for quite some time being a performance poet and performing at universities all over the country and uh, doing workshops. And then uh, had to retreat back uh, to my hometown of Chico and uh, take care of my aging mother who uh, passed last year in the pandemic and uh, basically kind of grounded me and I started going back to Matsu and Matsu is something that comes through me. I love to paint, draw, sketch every day and I, I'm a avid creative writer. I write poetry mainly and uh, even if I'm trying to not do it and do it, I write and I paint and Matsu comes out. And uh, the Funky Eye Puppets are basically an extension of that and uh, 
that's uh, moving it into the realm of, like you said, the the new Muppets. The Funky Eye Puppets are a whole nother level. They're 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 high tech. They're hip. They're made for uh, these times, and they're uh, made for to go to all the children of the world, and then like you, Michelle, the children inside you that is growing up. Oh, so amazing! So amazing. Tell us more about all the stuff that's going on and how you hope the Funky Eye Puppets. Um, help bridge people back together, Fessy. You want to talk a little bit about that, what, what your hope is with, you know, just having yes. people feel who they are and be accepted for who they are. I can share with you, Michelle, uh, specifically, uh, coming from experience, um, after being brought into the Funky Eye Puppets, it, it's been now three months, and uh, everything's changed. Um, I'm ignited. I'm activated. I. Um, it's all about making art together. Said Matsu, the acronym Matsu, making art together, supporting unity, and a global uplift, pretty much, of not letting anything stop you in your vision. And if you're going to make change and give people their dreams come true, your dream has to come true first. So it's about igniting that. The stories and the scripts, they're just like off the chain brilliant. Uh, IPC has said that the pen kind of moves by itself. I see in that you know um fantasia kind of with mickey mouse and when the broom was sweeping and cleaning it's just it's magical it's powerful it's enigmatic it's healing and the music is just brilliant and a lot of the music most of the music i've written has come from ipc sending audio clips of his ideas within the script he didn't say that he's a musician but he's completely a musician and uh so i've just had an honor uh of my lifetime having worked on the Funky Eye Puppets, and there are amazing, amazing characters that we all want you to interview so that you can, I was thinking initially that we'd get all the Funky Eye Puppets up here, like in our in our animated uh, storytelling, but I think that you were right on with just having it. Who are the Funky Eye Puppets? They are, they are champions of change. They are igniters of faith in the child we be. Funky free, quote unquote, that's IPCs. <laughs> Tell us about some of the puppets and the personalities. We have a couple of clips I can show, but I'd love for you, I mean, you've worked with them. I know you host clubhouse rooms with so many remarkable people. Uh, tell us a little bit about these uh, amazing human beings and, you know, they define diversity based on what you shared with me. Oh, basically, uh, some of the Funky Eye puppets, a lot of them, um, Basically, it's a kind of the, the sitcom version of, of entering the story of Matsu. So they're not the central part of Matsu, but they're the first incarnation because I learned from Jim Henson, like I am an animator, but uh, animation is not a solo sport. And so the best way to bring them forward is real live puppets. And a lot of people have not been doing that, at least uh, on the Internet. We, we've seen some, but like not really a, a, what Jim Henson did in a troop format. And so a lot of these uh, creatures, they, they come from um, the metaphor of, of the life that I've lived as a, a full time artist and uh, always felt that I never really fit in, but I stood out and I always brought my originality and and uh, I specialize in, because uh, I'm full-blooded Japanese, so I specialize in what are called Japanese yokai. And uh, yokai are basically uh, Japanese folklore creatures, but I work in the uh, original grand tradition of, of bringing them to life. And uh, I work with what are called classic yokai, which you can look up on Wikipedia and stuff. But uh, I evolved them to uh, basically the same way Jim Henson did and, and uh, George Lucas and um, even uh, creators like Toy Story and Pixar and, and a lot of the 21st century storytellers and how they evolve stuff. And I basically, uh, yokai roughly translated in English means strange spirit. So uh, a lot of these creatures are, are, are built on a kind of a, uh, my influence by the, the incredible mythologist, the late great mythologist, Joseph Campbell. And they're, they're all built on um, pretty much three mythological principles, which are um, their superpower. And I believe in these times they could have elemental superpowers that are not just earth, fire, and wind. They can have industrial superpowers, like even um, the power of sugar to even de destroy, but also um, bring back the sweetness without all these... Uh, you know, <laughs> foods we have in the world that that 
and not necessarily very healthy for us, but a lot of us have kind of found uh, emotional comfort in them. So they have, uh, you know, sugar, hip hop, technology, um, um, like Vessi's uh, uh, character is uh, called Vibrato, and it's based off, you know, some of the, the greatest cartoon characters ever that were, you know, part uh, critter or rabbit or bunny. And uh, but her magicness to uh, what she is 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 she also is, is uh, kind of invented yokai I invented, which is called the Gaku, which is she's a, a musical creature. So she has uh, instruments growing out of her that she can access, you know, without having to play with her hands, play with her imagination. And so they're super whimsical. They're strange. They're, but uh, like I said, the, a lot of them the base metaphors is they are. Um, also built on a lot of the the people that have become the the voice actors of of them like uh one of them is a a, a character that i invented called kabuki and uh he's uh based off of like the transformers but he doesn't turn into a car he turns into all the musical instruments that have ever existed on the earth and then it's just super uh whimsical and magical like i was saying in the beginning because uh troy thomas is the person who plays kabuki and, and i i just met him uh this year and uh i wrote poems you know three four years ago that describe who he is and he's basically a blind celloist and uh he lost his sight in a car accident when he was six years old and uh he believes he doesn't ever want his sight back he believes it, it's his superpower and basically the more i get to know him it's just pretty incredible how he is kabuki and his mission in life is to teach us all to listen to the music inside of ourselves you know the whatever that voice inside mm -hmm. of itself that talks every day you know and mm -hmm. like you're about the mindset and, and uh you know positive thinking and um yeah he teaches everyone how to find their inner music and use that as guidance he's a complete joy troy thomas is a complete joy i love it i love it give us some insight into your vision for the future you shared with me you're working on an animated film so tell me a little bit more about that and i'm gonna step off the screen for a second yeah May well the, the first oh. step is the first step is uh to, to bring it into the puppetry form. So um, we basically been working on the, the new uh, interactive audio social media app called uh, Clubhouse. And we brought the first audio theater cartoon troupe. And uh, we basically have done two performances. So we've kind of shown that we can do a radio theater in a time that we have so much rich media. But the next step is, is definitely uh, you know, getting uh, uh, one or two uh, seamstresses, puppet makers on, on the staff and start to uh, assemble these fantastical creatures and characters and uh, make the first uh, feature film. And NFTs uh, may help do that, right, IPC? Yeah, NFTs are this big buzz and everything that goes on with um, the internet and the, the shifting times with a lot of art and, and being an independent artist. Um, but I think uh, NFTs are, are really at this point are like really much like a merchandise table. So mm -hmm. the whole goal of the next step is, is to um, you know, heighten the awareness, awareness and, and share what we're doing. Raise and money. I think yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with what we call the inclusion crew because five of the uh, voice actors and people involved in the project are basically, uh, you know, handicapped or disabled. And we like to call them uh, the inclusion crew. And we wrote a song, IPC wrote a song about it. And he sent it on an audio recording. And uh, I worked it up in the studio on Pro Tools and sent it to Charles Sai in Jersey. We have a, a wonderful music team and he he just blew that song up. It is it is such it, that song Charles says uh, he wants to hear every child singing. And I think that IPC and I all sort of you would too, Michelle. It's uh so you're breaking up a little bit, Bessie. Oh, go on. <laughs> No, I, I love that. I want to see if we can drop the link to the song. If, if we could share it, that would be amazing. Is it even available? It can be sent. It can be okay. shared. We're, we're working on releasing it. We have a, how many songs do we have IPC now? 
Uh, I think around five will work, you know. Yeah, it's it's not they're not yet released, but if anyone really wants to hear it, send it. Perfect. I'm gonna share. Yeah. You shared with me, Vessi, a couple of uh, clips of these characters, and I want to share. I want to share one of them right now. We'll share another one in a few minutes, but um, it's pretty remarkable. So here's here's the first one. That's scribe. Scribe. Yeah. Here we go. Huge, oddly named nine six five four two. There was plenty of light, but no heat. Scribe, that's me, was realized, and the book upon her head was too. It's where she records all things that are Matsu. And of course, I'm adding you to that book too. So great. <laughs> and that's played by uh, the fabulous Tamara Warner from uh, Texas. Amazing. Amazing. Do you want to share a little bit about the NFTs so people know about this? Um, I'm oblivious to NFTs, so maybe you can educate us a little bit about how we would go about doing that. Uh, NFT is a kind of a, a weird, strange phenomenon that's going on right now, and it and it's, uh, basically stands for non-fungible token. So um, at the basis of it, you just take a piece of art and you turn it into a, a crypto coin or token, so it becomes the virtual money. And uh, basically, it's pretty amazing. Uh, we live in a time where it, I'm I'm currently used going to be using them as contractual agreements with mm -hmm. a lot of the funky eye puppets because uh, we live in a world where we're all coming together on the internet. We never met anyone personal. They're all over the world, and uh, a lot of accountability and sustainability these days. I think is in the personal person and. They got to decide why they're there and why they're motivated to stay committed. And, and uh, you know, we could have lawyers and all that stuff all around the world. But, like, you know, any of these people can just, you know, disappear off the Internet and never talk to you again. So you could hold them to all this contractual stuff. But I don't think that's way. And it also goes back to my Lucasfilm days, like. Uh, why they're so amazing is because George has learned how to tap into everyone's passion and love and they all do it. You know, there's not too much management going on. They all do it on their own and and in their genius ways. And so and NFT is basically, uh, you know, a new way of putting out your art. But it, I think it's it's flashing a lot of hope in front of people that they can um, make a living at it and do all this. And I think it just goes back, uh, like I'm old, old school in that way. I, I look at it as the digital merchandise table. And now it's it's more dimensional because it can link to the archival table. And uh, the main thing is um, that's what I'm really uh, focused on and, and finding a lot of, uh, you know, uh, attention to right now is, is uh, you got to fill the theater. You know, yeah. you can make this great art and everything, but I think the challenge of the 21st century artist is, is you know, there are no gatekeepers anymore, record labels and TV stations and all that's stuff. That's all like changing. That. I think record it's labels are changing. Open. Yeah. So, I think record labels want to be part of tomorrow and today, and NFTs are a way to get there. I think bridging the gap with the old structure and the new structure and finding the beautiful bridge, the golden bridge that kind of like uses both instead of saying, scrap like hundreds of years of work we like bridge it together we make it work for everybody globally as an artistic economy and so your vision ipc of making art together supporting unity that's it i mean that's it nfts um they're amazing and they need to have a purpose like you said you know we're gonna get rich quick it's not about that it's actually you have to give to get always that's always the framework in in life for anything what you put out really ultimately, if it's in line in alignment, you will receive more than you ever even realized you could receive. And that's why I love the funky eye puppets and you IPC and you've just the road I see paved and it's golden. And the the, the star ride, the hair ride to the stars is one of the script uh pieces where he speaks. I would love to actually hear IPC Michelle speak a script. Uh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I want to acknowledge we have some amazing people with us right now. I just want to acknowledge a few a few people we have here. Um, we have Cheryl. That's we, lemonade. We have Quincy. That's bomb. Um, we have ER Studios. Oh my goodness, so many great people are here. This is amazing. That's awesome. Prop is in the house. Here. These are all the 
That's great. So great. Um, I want to share. Ray Lee's an amazing movie maker. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. I don't know what to do. There's so you much. You have to in interview Ray. You have engagement to going on right yeah. now. I don't know what to do with myself. I don't have this many people ever come. So thank you for sharing that oh, you're here. Oh, it's going it's so to just important. get bigger and bigger. And you're, <clears throat> you're a great interviewer. We're, we're really excited to be here with you. Oh, thank you. I want to share this um, this one too, because all of these were just so great. I honestly, so he, this is, is uh, Tycho, right? Hey, baby bubbles, it's me, Tycho. I love my life and all the places will go. I'm a tiny creature lover who's loads of fun. And I'm a creature, not a monster, always on the run. I'm a double creature feature between me and you, living large in the lovely land of my zoo. <laughs> so great. So great. Can you tell us about some of these puppets? Like the, the Yeah, that's that's uh, Tycho. That's one of the most... Uh, substantial funky eye puppets because Tycho uh, glues it back to the story of Matsu. And uh, Tycho is a, a classic yokai, but I evolved them. It's a kappa yokai, and that, that's played by the amazing uh, Arisha uh, Connor, who is also uh, uh, featured on a, a Hulu. Uh, uh, basically, she's a professional actor. So. Amazing. And look at this beautiful comment, Mark. Thank you for sharing. Vessi is such a powerful musician. She's a great talent, great and talented. And IPC is a leader of a new cultural movement that exists now. Right on. Mark. Yes. Yay, Mark. <laughs> this to you, Michelle. So great. Mark's so amazing. Great. Mark plays Echo. And the shows that we do every week, we've done two so far on uh, the Music Bazaar, which is um, BK's room, BK Han. And uh, there's all these amazing musicians and artists. And so we have and so when IPC says the first audio theater cartoon puppet troupe, he means it. So, you know, breaking breaking ground, really, you know, ultimately, like, have you been on Clubhouse lately? It is off the chain. So, yeah, that was my next question. Do me a favor. So I have limited time, so I'm not in there as much as I used to be when we were in the thick of the pandemic. Tell us about how the rooms you're running, what's going on with Clubhouse and, and, and how, how it's going. I, I landed in, in IPC's uh, Creature, what is it again? I the IPC's Creature Club is what it's called on Clubhouse okay. through, uh, through Jason Rothberg because he has a room called Two Cents Music, Sync, the Sync Report. And, I was in, and he had IPC on stage. And that's how they say it on Clubhouse when you're on stage. Yes. You know, you're one of the guests. And so when I heard IPC do his spoken word off the cuff in seven minutes. I was just like, like, what just happened? Who is this, who is this wizard? What, yeah. you know, this wonderful, beautiful wizard spiritually that just, just so like, so this like fabric of everybody on stage together, people that didn't know each other, like just made it like appear and become. And um, we did a song together that we released for a sync opportunity through the sync report. Um, Cause they have live directorial briefs up there. And then uh, he told me about the fun puppets and I just came to the room and was listening to him uh, as the director speak on it. And I was just floored and, and I sang and I don't even actually remember like how he called me vibrato. I don't, I'm trying to remember IPC. I, it's like a dream now how it occurred. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so cool. I want to hear, I want to hear IPC. If you if if he has a haiku in him, I would love to hear that. And then I want to hear you sing. I want to hear you you play I would love something. To. Sure, I would, I would love to. that. I'll do the but funky no puppet theme song if it's okay yeah. with IPC. Awesome, awesome, absolutely. It's so it's so amazing to hear people like yourselves using art to bring people together in a world where we're way too divided. And I just think it's such a beautiful thing. And you're using tools like Clubhouse. Um, and you're just wildly talented. It's so amazing. What so we cool. need to do is get off Clubhouse, though, and get in a studio all together, the whole crew. Uh, we want, you know, we're going to be on the cover of the Rolling Stone. Michelle Hello. And Funky Eye Puppets <laughs> on the cover of the Rolling Stone. We're going on tour. <laughs> Aura uh, uh, is uh, actually, um, that's her character journalist in uh, Scotland. She's amazing. Um, how wonderful it would be if we could do another one of these and then have the voices drop in. Oh, look who's here. Now we're yeah. going to talk to Scribe. 
and then yeah. and then just to like kind of have like a spotlight and yeah. then the next that would be a good way because you know how long have you been using StreamYard? quite a while now it's been over a year yeah and you've, you've interviewed some really amazing people I've I've, I've seen some of which Thank yes you. many people I've had the privilege of meeting on Clubhouse people underestimate the power of Clubhouse it's amazing who you can connect with um do you want to play you want to play a song I see oh sure <laughs> not to put you on the spot but put you on the spot IPC, should I do the Funky Air Puppet song or should I do social? Yeah, do the Funky Air Puppet. Okay, I, this is not really the beat here, but I've got my little, I've got, I've got an instrument growing out of my arm. See, <clears throat> here we go. We're the Funky Air Puppets. We continue to play. We get the funk on stuff. Every day, inspire all creatures to be funky free by rocking to this incredible melody. It's a funky fine way to be on a planet spinning to infinity. Can't always come home to the outpost, that's the one where the doors are open and I. Imagination to see beyond the troubles of this day, to get inspired to continue the play because you wanted it this way. You're a funky eye puppet, you continue the play, you get that funk on stuff. Every day, inspire all creatures to be funky free. E -e -e. By rocking to this incredible melody. It's a funky fine way to be on a planet spinning to infinity. Can't always come home to terra calm station. Wait, the outpost where the doors are open in our imagination. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, now I know just what you are. You're a yokai creature, tenfold, ooh, yeah. <laughs> Bravo, bravo, amazing. You know, I've had conversations with you, Vesti, about some of the characters and the adversity that they've overcome and some of the challenges that they've had. Would you share a little bit about some of the, some of what makes up the Funky Red Puppets? Yes, we my honored to. So upon coming into the Funky Red Puppets, I didn't know uh, any of the backstories of the characters that I was about to meet and befriend and we're a family now and I would have never had the chance or honor to meet them and there are in the crew in the in, in the funky Out puppets crew and part of the inclusion crew and um, Erica Erica Renee who is this amazing spirit uh, a stray bullet hit her in the head is living and a walking wonder and a loving soul and so powerful and epic and when i learned of her story it just i just had never met anybody that, that that had happened to you hear about gun violence you hear about you know sandy hook and all the people that are working so hard to like like get rid of assault weapons and a big thing about matsu and yokai creature land there's no war but there's broken bones as Mm -hmm. I these spirits and there's they they need to figure it out. So there's drama. There's drama and empowerment and love and acceptance and tolerance and guidance and vision and inspiration and becoming who we really are without the brokenness holding us down so that we can't become who we really are. And there's Quincy Keith, who's a he's just phenomenal. He's funk in, in the funky eye puppets and um Quincy was in Chicago in 2019, and, and um, he, he was a gunshot victim. And he, uh, you know, he's now in a wheelchair. 
And um, there's a, a lot going on with, with Quincy. And I, I would really love for you to have the Creature Crew up here to introduce and talk about their stories um, yes. beyond what I could share ultimately, because um, when you hear their stories is when from them, you really, you really find out what that they're saying beyond me being able to really express to you. I can tell you how it's affected me. Um, yeah. We have we have Robbie Kay who who you know sang background vocals with Jewel and Diana Ross and and she's a, a Grammy award winning, winning singer. She's got a, a, her, her eyesight slowly. Bessie, we have a connection issue. Just when you're telling us something yeah. about someone, we lose you. So um, oh, can you repeat that okay. last That's bit? That's unfortunate. Yes. What did you hear? Where did uh, it drop out? Just the injury that she sustained. She, she has MS. She has MS. Oh. MS at the height of her career, multiple sclerosis. And so her vision is, she's becoming more vision impaired. Juniper is a Grammy award winning uh, musician. She has a, um, a song out right now with, they're all Grammy winners. It's called, uh, it's out right now. That's up possibly for a nomination. Um, and we have um, Troy Thomas, who, uh, you know, you heard about, he's Kabuki, he's the cellist, the concert cellist who's blind, um, was blinded at six, who does not want his eyesight back, who it says it's a superpower and very well when he speaks because the vibration of his, of his energy in each of the Funky Eye puppets and um, in the inclusion crew and, and outside of the inclusion crew, because the inclusion crew is like, okay, these are our stories. Have you ever heard them before? Get it through your head. We're just like you. We're beyond the door, actually. We see and feel more than you do because you haven't been through what we've been through. So just listen to our stories. And so that's what makes us special. That That's what makes us shine. And that that's what makes, I think, um, humanity shine. You know, I mean, yeah, yeah. the D DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion, uh, you know, equity is not uh, a father looking over the fence at a baseball game at a home run and his tall son can see over the fence, but their little kid has just one box and he can't see. That's not equity. Equity yeah. is that that little kid has two boxes or three so that yes. at least he can see too. Yes. Yes. That's great. IPC, do you want to, um, do you want to share anything? Oh, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> you. I don't, I don't want to put you on the spot, but let me tell you the last time we got together, and you, oh, you want a poem? This haiku, I was like moved to tears practically. First of all, uh, haiku is a short form of, of poetry, and I didn't really share any haiku. I shared long verse. Uh, Thank you. I could tell a, a Matsu story if you want. Yes, I would love uh, This that. one is actually performed by the troupe. It's called You've Been Here Before. And uh, this is a modern day folklore carnival ride. It's a cascade of music and paintings that sightsee tour of your insides allows you to go past the infamous wonderland to the places that fill with the boogaloo electric symphonic bandstand with the delights of music. And this is just the art I fact from the magic I rhythmically rap as I use rhythm and cadence and full driving maintenance to open all the freeways to lead you out of your own personal maze into the land of a modern Matsu folklore. Stories that uplift the common folk without excuses and uh, useless jokes, just old, old, good old fashioned hayride into the stars and the infinite flowing skies where the wild things are inside you and I, where it's the norm to levitate, launch, and fungify. So all you got to do is just brew a cup of Boba Fiend tea as it's brewed with ingredients of general IPC. That's me. And from Nori Coast to the infamous outpost, I am your whimsical host that will guide you into beyond where you might feel you don't belong. I throw these starshine dice into the boundaries and crooked conditions of this life to roll out a full house, not to browse in a mindless hobby, allowing this tiny melody to grow into a humongous harmony. All safe passages back to your original expansive imagination before the noise of all the seeming industrial confusion.
If you're feeling you didn't fit in when all you creatures are yokai blessed of water, earth, and wind that uplifts what got a little too heavy into a unique original melody. It's just a story to tell from the well, 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 where I paint the colors in teal and ignite them infinite red to bring back the music to back up what I just said. It fills your imagination's palette with a nutritious mind light expanding freshness of salads, Fantastical ballads, fungified, fabulous, fun, phenomenal ride. It tours your senses to the way of taking beautiful chances without all the logical thoughts, just wondrous dances that have you move all of your spirits, opening the creature's original music. Imagine you just entered your favorite song. And now you just don't sing along. You are the melody with ultimate capabilities to orchestrate the wisdom of your own symphony. And that is all about the harmony, letting you leave this trash alley can world behind to ignite the passion where you do nothing but shine, as it's a preparation to fine tune your imaginations that opens all creatures expanding dimensions where there are no borders or outlining orders, there's just the magic of wonder to reset the kaleidoscope in your mind. To create to know all just works out fine, to activate the imaginative core seen from silver shores to magic doors allowing all objects and trinkets and appliances of this machine to speak a language where all is possible, all is accessible, all is inclusion, clearing the viewing matter of the self-expanding corridors of all the illusions, which when you choose the open door, all others couldn't ignore, that every door led to where you were bound because you felt it before it came around. You detected it like it was a remedy song that you've always heard all along, that there was when the noise got silent, you see it's still full of magic, creativity, and brilliance. And when it's not whirled around in your head, it becomes the open road instead. So welcome in and grab a creature cushion. It has controls to activate your imagination that opens the windows and doors that allow you to see from shore to shore inside your viewing scope which will let you sail and not float. And there's an abundance of support to ignite your heart torch because you see, it's how you visualize infinity that can express in orchestrating an IPC symphony. Because you didn't arrive here and say what was unclear. You took a leap off a giant's nose, landed in a goblin patch of purple roses, and you're greeted by a blue tattoo named Ra. You were escorted into the music because the creature told you it was their job to never ever let this music stop, to always answer the worry with a yokai creature from Matsu named Bebop or a hot scotch from that funk that jumps over that double Dutch rope. As it opens a nose, there are no more gatekeepers around. You are free to enter what is known as the common ground, to leave the noisy concrete lair, to grab a trumpet and dare to care, to let the music blare every everywhere because you arrive at base station oddly named 96542 it's a place where you can do what you do become who you're becoming just being and singing and creating and dancing it's where a tutsugami yokai like the blender like an industrial machine object that will come alive and you'll be able to think logic with it and it will escort you into who you truly be Funkified and free. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Mark said this best. I have to share this. That was incredible, IPC. You are amazing. You both are amazing. I love what you're up to. This is this is really um, just it's just such a, a great effort that you're doing. And how do you hope that this helps children? I mean, you say it in your words, IPC, about having allowing children to have their imagination. It's such a beautiful thing in a world that seems sometimes to be so hard. What's your vision with for, for kids? Well, in uh, uh, an hour and 15 minutes, I will be in the classroom. And uh, what I'm all about as an art educator is uh, I believe uh, we live in a time where uh, a lot of us have, have numbed and suppressed our mental faculties. And the mental faculties are 
you know, curiosity, wonder, intuition, imagination, and, and the will to carry on. And uh, I believe uh, those are the skills that are going to allow us to evolve into, you know, being more self-leaders and defining more of who we are and, and the opportunity to truly be who we be. And so I believe the arts, you know, they, they tune a being back to what, what I know as a holographic being. Because uh, you know, in psychology, you break it down into just mind, mind, uh, right, and body and emotions, right, and so physical, mental, and uh, emotional realms. And uh, I think there's so much more of that. But uh, I think all the arts they they tune, like uh, music tunes your emotions, and uh, poetry, visual arts tunes your imagination, your mind, and then of course theater arts and, and martial arts and dance tune your physical being. And so uh, that's uh, the deep uh, heritage I work in in my degrees, and I have a master's in education, emphasis of fine arts and uh, technology, and it's all about uh, experiential learning and reaching the deeper modalities in each being, which, uh, you know, deals with what you're dealing with, a lot of, like, uh, you know, mindset and allowing people to, um, you know, really find their purpose and, and live a more productive and positive life and, you know, solve a lot of problems more by feelings and intuition and, and yeah. hunches and knowing more than uh, calculating it and then using a lot of industrial words and terms to, you know, put it yourself in a state where you're not the creator, you know, you, 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 exactly. you, uh, you know, you more react to things. Right? The Funky Eye yeah. Puppets app is coming. The interactive Funky Eye Puppets app, nice. the game show, the books, the movie, the cartoon, awesome. the toys, the little toys. The little toys. That's awesome. I love yeah. it. I want to stop the animal of one of them. <laughs> you can have them all. That's great. <laughs> That's awesome. You can Anything have one made for you. You can have a custom <laughs> yokai creature, actually. It. Right, IPC? Mm -hmm. That's great. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Is there anything else you want to add before we wrap up? It's been an absolute pleasure to have you. Uh, I just want to apologize for my signal because I guess I was breaking up a lot. Um, oh, well, that's yeah. a bummer. I'm sorry about that. If anybody wants to get in touch with the yeah. Funky Eye Puppets with IPC, Funky Eye Puppets, M-K-Y-I-P-U-P-P-E-T-S at Gmail. And also you can follow IPC on Instagram and Twitter and everywhere else uh, as IPC IP creators. You can follow me on all uh, all of those as well. And um, it was a pleasure to be here with you. And uh, we're at your behest, Michelle. However, we can ever help with um, the mental health and well-being of any of your guests, or or uh, awesome. you know, having another interview, bringing on the Creature Club, uh, yeah. or Funky Eye Puppets. That's um, in order. Yep. Yeah, let's right do on. that. Be, yeah, Funky Puppets are on uh, Instagram and Twitter, and we have a Discord server. And uh, I run a, a YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash C slash iPaint Creatures. And I show a lot of my archives of um, my paintings and drawings and illustrations. And I uh, talk a lot about uh, mindset and, uh, you know, very living inspiring. very creative. I watched them. They're they're only five minutes, some of them, but it's like, okay, thank you. I needed that. You know, subscribe. Yeah. The so best great. way is to just just jump on board and support and subscribe. Popology is also doing a lot. If you've heard of Popology, I'm not sure. He was talking on IPC about uh, about uh, the modalities in in the art world and in um, how he teaches the children. And you had asked, and so Popology is about pop culture. And uh, people are free to do a popology.org um, sign up and create their bios and create NFT cards with their art. And you have to get the book. Yeah. It is the symphony yeah. book. This is my uh, symphony book, and it was crowdsourced a few years ago. And I think there's oh, less amazing. than 40 of them available right now. So uh, it basically is a, a pendum and an introduction to the whole world of Matsu. There's a bunch of funky eye puppet information, but it's... There's the Funky Eye Puppets that's raw and glitch. And uh, this is the outpost. And here's some of the Funky Eye Puppets. Um, it has stories, poems, and uh, sketches, illustrations, paintings, 
uh, just just my whole fantastical world, and it has the first uh, Matsu graphic novel in it, Taiko's Tale. So Taiko, who we met through one of those videos. Characters, correct? It's a water That's goblin. Yeah. Brilliant. Amazing. And your Brilliant. NFT link, I can I can pop your NFT link in the chat. I'll have to grab it, but he's got IPC has four NFTs currently available. Um, awesome. And so I can. Where's yeah. the best place to put that? Send me the link and I'll and I'll drop it. Okay. I'll drop it in, the, in all the, all the links. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you both so much for being here. It's really just been an absolute pleasure to get to talk to you and learn about this and share you with my audience and beyond. Um, keep doing what you're doing. I think the world is uh, going to be a much more beautiful place with the work that you're doing and with the Funky Eye Puppets. So thank you so much for being here. Do you know why we're the new Muppets? Why? Because we just are. We Yeah, it's just the only way to be. <laughs> All right, guys. Who was your favorite Muppet before you go? I have to know oh this. Oh, my gosh. Uh, there were so many. I mean, I love Miss Piggy. I love Kermit the Frog. I mean, those Krimi, two are right here. Kermit, what do you think of me? <laughs> Great. It's awesome. All right. Take good care. Thank you so much for Thank your you time today. All right. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Take good care. Thanks, IPC. Thanks, Bessie. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.